Hi there folks, this is Adam with 8Badge Gaming coming to you today with the second gameplay video in our Laurentis Garbador series. We're just going to go ahead and dive straight on into the queue here and we're going to see what we're going to get paired up against. Now, while this is only the second video, the first recording that we tried with this deck against the Ultra Necrozma deck, unfortunately didn't record properly. We ended up losing the audio and the file itself ended up getting corrupted which I'm kind of sad about, as it was a wonderful game to actually witness. Now, the first video that you have seen in our gameplay was against the Zoroark Gardevoir deck, and it looks like this time we're paired up against a Water Psychic deck. So this is likely, I would say, either Ninetales or Glaceon. It might actually be Frogs, so we might be seeing Greninja here. Uh, either way, we're pretty well off. We called heads on the flip again and lost yet again. Our opponent is going to be taking the first turn here, and we do have some card draw. So, we do have Fomantis here, uh, as well as a Trubbish and the Garbodor in hand here as well. I think we actually don't end on our first turn. Uh, we want to keep the evolution depending on what our opponent does, and we don't necessarily want to end our opponent up cards either. Uh, he is starting off with Froki here, uh, putting an energy directly onto it, going for a Bridget for additional setup. We're likely going to see just three straight more Frokies here, uh, and sorry, two Frokies and a Star U, as they do like to have the Star Me for the energy discard. So it is very likely that we're against Greninja Break here. Um, we did get another Fomantis. We will throw that down, put an energy on this Fomantis, and we're going to synthesize. So we're going to get an energy out of our deck, and we're going to attach it to our benched Fomantis here. And next turn, we're looking to throw down a Garboder onto our Trubbish, followed by an energy onto our Fomantis, and we're looking to just go for a straight N. Um, we are seeing a Evo Soda here. I'm surprised that he's actually going for the Frogadier, where he could technically use the water duplicates there, but it looks like he has a second Evo Soda anyways to go on to likely the Star Me onto the Star You here, which is exactly what he's doing. The beacon is what he's looking to get going here. Um, and we do have a Choice Band followed by a Cynthia. So he didn't want to end, even if he had it, where we didn't end on our turn, we didn't do much of anything. Uh, what we're really hoping for now is if he does do a water duplicates and we have the ability to actually get Fomantis going with a Lorantis, we're going to actually take a KO on the active Frogadier here. So let's see, we did get an Evo Soda. So we're going to Garbotoxin Garboder. We're going to Evo Soda onto our active Fomantis. Um, we're also going to quickly see what we have prized. So it looks like right now we have a Trubbish prized. Um, we have one of our Toxins, our Garbotoxin Garboders. We have one of our Lele's prized. We're using an Evo Soda right now. We have, supporter-wise, a Guzma prized. Uh, we have an N in hand. We have a Dumbbell prized. We have both of our choice bands for our float stones. We've got one Grass Energy prized, and that's our prizes. So we're going to go for a Lorantis Evolution here. Uh, we're going to toss down an Energy onto this Lorantis here as well, and we're going to go for an N. So we did not hit a tool here to shut down our opponent uh, with our Garbotoxin, but we did hit the ability to go for another Laurentis. Um, where we are grass, we are taking one-shot KOs against our opponent, and we will take a Field Blower here to get the Choice Band off the table. So we're going to go for a Flower Supply here for a KO on the Frogadier. And next turn, we do have the ability to throw a Psychic Energy on to our Lorantis and actually start going with Flower Supply. So there's our Guzma out of our s s prizes there, sorry. I was about to say sideboard because I'm too used to playing Magic, but Pokemon doesn't have sideboards. So we did get the Guzma there. We have a Frogadier in the active. Cynthia, we're likely seeing him going for a Greninja here. 
And if he goes for an evolution onto the benched Frogadier, I think we're actually going to Guzma it up and go for a KO. Uh, we see an Evo Soda going for the Greninja here. Um, a Brooklet Hill likely letting him go for another Froki, but a Tapu Fini here, actually. Um, Tapu Fini actually is a bit of a deal for us to deal with. Uh, let's see. So, what we want to do here. Um, let's toss down a Bridget to suit up our bench a bit more. Let's go for Trubbish, Trubbish, and Fomantis. We'll get the full three. Um, we're going to attach a Psychic Energy here. And we're going to go for a Solar Blade for Knockout. And our opponent's actually going to scoop it up. So I think we're going to make this a quick game double feature there, uh, where we did have the additional energy our opponent being weak to grass. Even though we had the Tapu Fini to go for the Tapu Storm to shuffle away our Lorantis, we had the backup one there as well. So it wasn't too big a deal for us, but we're just going to hop straight back into the queue to make this a double feature. So we did get peered up against the frogs there. That is a uh, good deck for us where they are susceptible to grass weakness. And our second pairing here looks to be fighting, colorless, and psychic. So I'm not sure what this will be. I'm feeling it's likely Buzzwall. We're going to choose heads, and we finally won a coin flip on the heads. Uh, I feel Buzzwall, but I'm surprised that Buzzwall wouldn't be running Octillery as the prime draw support for the deck. Um, we do have an Evo Soda here. We have a Trubbish, which we'll put in the active, actually. Um, and we'll leave Trubbish there for Mantis. And we'll see what we draw on our first turn. But it might be us just actually going for Acid Spray, um, as we're kind of stuck here at the moment. So we'll do a Trubbish. We won't put down anything else. And the reason for that is if our opponent wants to end, uh, or rather this should help influence them hopefully try to end because we're not down very many cards. Usually the big deterrent off of an end is really just keeping our opponent from just getting more cards in hand. We see a mysterious treasure here. Oh, will we potentially? No. If they're mysterious treasuring, they're not going to be set up for a dunk here. We're going to see a Lele. Uh, Lele is likely going to go for our Bridget to get our opponent set up here. We've got one tool in the discard. Um, oh, actually going for a Lily to draw for. That's kind of surprising. Ooh, another Mysterious Treasure puts us up to two items in discard. They're discarding a Guzma, going for an Inke. Let's see if they retreat the active Inke out of the actives. A Max Elixir is another item here. So we're really just fueling up the Trash Valanche, and he's going for the Lily now, drawing seven. So that's a very strong card draw on the first turn. Let's see if he does invest some more items to the discard for us, currently sitting at three. So if we get to our turn here now without him KOing the Trubbish, then we are going to be able to go for a Trash Valanche, potential knockout on a... Okay, here. So we've got another item with the Ultra Ball. Let's see what he discards. Uh, another Ultra Ball and an Inke. Let's see. He's likely just straight regular Necrozma then. If we're seeing an Inke deck and no Dragon typing, then that means that we're looking at regular Necrozma over Ultra Necrozma. Um, five items in the discard right off the bat it's pretty hefty on our opponent's side we're likely going to see him retreat into i would say the tapu lele here um we are a little bit on our side here unless he decides to discard say two more items if he gets two more items into the discard or if he puts say a float stone onto this dawn wings necrozma now then we can actually just take a ko on the lele if he puts it up um, let's see here now what he does. Uh, we do have the floatstone on the NK. He does retreat NK into the Lele. The Lele doesn't have the ability to get another energy on it just yet. And we did get a grass energy here for the Fomantis. 
So the question here now is, do we go for the Fromantis, or do we go for the Evo Soda into the Trubbish? Because let's confirm our item counts is 5, so it's 100 damage from Garbo Tox, or rather from the Trash Valanche on the Garbo Odor now. So, add on a choice ban, we're hitting for 130 tops. I think our best bet is actually to go Floatstone here. Um, we're choice banding here, do an energy. Uh, we're going to go for an Evo Soda, and we're going to go... I think we actually go for the Garboder, because the 40 damage off the Fomantis isn't going to get us where we need to be. Um, so we set up for a potential two-shot with Garboder onto this Lele here now. Um, we keep the Field Blower just in case, and we're just going to go for a Trash Flanch. So Trash Flanch for 100. Now, our opponent has to try and get that Lele out of the active, which he can, where he does have both the invasion ability from the Donwings Necrozma, as well as an energy on the Lele to be able to do a retreat. Uh, what we don't want to see is a Malamar suit up here, and it looks like that's exactly the way we're going. So we've got another Mysterious Treasure, putting a Psychic Energy to the discard, going for a Malamar. We've got two Psychic Energies in the discard already. We get one evolution into a Malamar here, second evolution into a Malamar. If he's got an energy in hand, he's going to just be able to promote the... Oh, no. Max Elixir. Oh, bad times for us. So, depending on what we draw here, we're just stone cold dead. Um, we have a Rescue Stretcher and a Field Blower in hand. It's not looking good for us. He's going to be able to promote his Donwings Necrozma here now, just using the invasion ability. He doesn't even need to retreat the Tapu Lele. Now, he might if he wants to get the energy into the discard. Um, and he's just prolonging this right now with a Cynthia. Uh, us getting a hand where we had no draw supporters really kind of did us in in this game. Um, though it's not not too unexpected, given the fact that we are running a Garboder deck. Um... So let's see what he goes for here. And what is it that he just put on the bunch of Hoopa? Hyperspace Punch Hoopa. That's an interesting one. Uh, so let's see. We can Rescue Stretcher. And we can get back a Trubbish. Um, which can keep us going for another turn. Um, we can only put a Grass Energy on it with Fomantis. So, let's see, we can field blower away the two choice, or rather the float stones. Uh, getting rid of the float stones here, I believe, puts us up to nine items in discard. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, we can keep our bodybuilding dumbbells in hand and do a synthesis to put an energy onto the Trubbish, because why not? Um, and now it's our opponent's turn. So here he's just very likely going for a Dark Flash, taking a KO on the Fomantis and an easy prize. Um, we're pretty grim right now. Uh, we're up to 10 items in discard. Uh, let's see. He's going to Psychic Recharge going for the Hoopa here. He's likely just going to fill up the Hoopa so he doesn't have to worry about uh, a secondary attacker here. Um, and it is going to just be able to kill our uh, Trubbish here because I don't think we're actually going to... It depends on our top deck here. I think we're a little shafted. <laughs> we got another Trubbish. So we're still not out of this just yet. Uh, he can take another prize off of our active Trubbish here. Uh, we're still really desperately hoping for something like an N here would help. Um, he's just going for the Dark Flash. He's not wasting any further time. We get another Trubbish up into the active. Do we get another lucky top deck of some sort? Um, a Float Stone. And we'll give him the Well Played. Uh, we didn't get a single draw supporter, we got a bunch of items, we didn't have any ability to shut down our opponent's Pokemon in any way, and we paid the price for it. So, we'll give him the KO here. Uh, at the very least, he gets to take the prize. He 
didn't give us a well played back um because i guess he's that kind of guy but overall we got the ko we got the loss and we're currently sitting at in recorded games one and one including the unrecorded or the misrecorded i guess i should say alternate crossing game i guess we're sitting at two and one well, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, we do greatly appreciate your viewership. I didn't really get to show what the deck is capable of in that game, um, with us just getting kind of decimated uh, in the second portion of the video and us getting weakness on frogs in the first portion and our opponent scooping it up to us. Well, thank you, as always, for tuning in. We do greatly appreciate your viewership, and this is Adam with 8 Badge Gaming signing off.